He won't even let me help him. He's just so worried about me and how I feel. He's just been so strong for so long, it's hard for him to hear somebody saying, give in, feel what you're feeling. Mary, I know he wants children. I mean, he really grilled me about what Jamie said my chances were. And when I told him I know he, he wants children, he said, no. No, we have the twins, we have each other. He, he just has it all worked out. I wish he did. Liz Matthews is going to lend us money? Yeah, she wants to invest. How much? Did she give you any idea how much? Uh, no, not exactly. Wait a second. Now wait just a second. She's not giving us a few hundred bucks and then expecting to get a discount every time she shops here, is she? She is making a serious investment, Cass. Very serious. Well, that means very serious money. That's, this is great. Yeah, so there are a lot of papers for us to draw up. Oh, no, no, no. A loan isn't that complicated. I'll draw up the contract. No, uh, this isn't a loan. A gift? She's giving us a gift? Wait, wait, would you just listen for a minute? What? She's going to become a partner in the company. Huh? Mm -hmm. Partner? <laughs> I'm partners with Liz Matthews? She is very nice, Cass. And she's also quite intelligent. She'll be an asset to the company. What have I done to deserve your wrath? What, what, what have I done? Cass. What? I just got us money for the business. But the board of directors knows that's an unfounded rumor. Oh. All right, yes, but does it have to be today? All right, I'll fly in this afternoon. No, I'll have Liz call the airport. Our lunch is off. Hmm? I have to go to New York. Why? Emergency stockholder meeting. Oh, they've heard the rumors about the takeover bit? I have to fly out there and calm them all down. Mac, this is a rumor, isn't it? I mean, this takeover bit isn't serious. Corey Publishing will remain Corey Publishing. Good. Hey. How about going with me? To New York? Yeah, you could do the galleries while I do the meetings. Well, would I see very much of you? I would make sure you do. Now, think about this. Room service, museums, galleries... Broadway plays, no Loretta. Sounds wonderful. Great! You get back to Mitch, I'll get hold of Liz. Wait a minute, Mitch called? Oh, yes, I started to tell you, but the telephone rang. He called while you were in the shower. What did he want? I don't know. I mean, I told him I'd be glad to give you a message, but he got all... Well, you know how he is. <laughs> Darling, I don't think I'd better go to New York. Why not? I think I ought to stay here and find out what's going on with Matthew. You can talk about Matthew from New York as well as here. I still think I should stay here. Fine. You're angry. It's a spontaneous reflex when you cancel our plans because I mentioned that Mitch called. Mac, this isn't about Mitch. It's about Matthew. You don't know what it's about. Matthew is all Mitch and I have in common. And always will have. Mac, I don't understand why you're getting so sensitive about this. Mitch is about to marry Felicia. That doesn't alter the fact that he was your lover. From... Ada, it's so nice to see you. If I came at a bad time, I'll come back later. Your timing is always perfect. Keep her occupied while I pack. Pack? Yes, go to New York. Emergency stockholders, Minnie. He just found out about it. I walked in on a fight. He wants me to go to New York with him. I think I should stay here and find out what's going on with Matthew. And that reminded Mac that Matthew's other parent is Mitch Blake. Mitch and I have been talking more lately about Matthew, and he has a blind spot about that. Well, he didn't mean what he said. He'll calm down. I hope so. Amanda came to see me at the restaurant today. Oh, yes? Yep. She wanted me to teach her how to make a lasagna. How'd it come out? Well, she could have picked something easier to learn, but uh, she did pretty good. Mm -hmm. I loved having her in the kitchen. It's like when she was a little girl again. Is this lasagna going to be served to Loretta tonight for dinner? For her very first dinner party. She is brave. Oh, did she tell you? Loretta's got a new boyfriend. A boyfriend? 
Well, I hope he's a boyfriend. Why? Um, he called here, and I said something about being a boyfriend, and you could hear him retreating all the way through the phone. Retreating? I hope I didn't mess things up for her. Of course, it seems to be my day for doing things like that. Don't worry about Loretta. It's just she was so happy this morning. And it would be so nice for the rest of us if she had somebody else in her life. Why don't you go help Mac get ready, okay? He's probably pressed for time. Okay. See, how about um, having dinner with me tonight? Because Mac won't be here or, and neither will Loretta. I'd love it. And stay the night? Well, I'll have to change the staff schedule of the restaurant. Good. I miss you. Me too, you. <laughs> Drive him to the airport. The car is a good place to talk. Okay. Uh, Howard Young, please. Yeah. Howard! Ada Hobson here. Yeah. About your dinner plans tonight. I thought you'd be at work by now. I wanted to stop by and talk to Matthew first. Oh, good. All right. Yellow. Did you think what I... about what I said before? Yes, I did think about it. And I also think that I'm going to drive up there and see you. Well, great. Uh, can you come tomorrow? Is tomorrow okay? Yes. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's fine. Uh, but I want to let you know I'm going to talk to your mother. Mitch, I... I'm not just your mom. I'm not going to keep stuff from her. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just don't want her to flip out over nothing. Look, if it's nothing, then there's no reason for her to flip out. That's not her style. Mitch, I really wish you would not talk to her. I won't make you any promises. I'll see you tomorrow. Good for you. Good for me if I'm doing the right thing. Of course you're doing the right thing. You know, Matthew can't play you and Rachel against each other. Well, I mean, it's nice that he calls and it's nice that he asks for help. I mean, I like that. You know, he's not going to stop asking for help just because you talk to Rachel. He won't stop asking if I don't let him down. Come on. You know what? Drop me off at Nicole's, and you go find Rachel, and you talk to her, and you'll see. Everything's going to work out. Oh, you're so good. Well, uh... You, you made this? Yes. Well, with some help from Grandma. Ah, it's hot. Is my mother really coming to dinner? Well, I invited her, so I guess she's going to come. <sighs> Wonderful. I mean, I left a message. Look, I don't want her to feel like she isn't welcome here, okay? Oh. In fact, I even bought a bottle of vino. Look, Amanda, um... What? I want you to watch out for her, okay? She's trying to mess up things with Mitch and Felicia, too, so... She's not going to mess anything up with us. Look, I better call and make sure that she got my message. Think the cookbook will tell me how to make a salad? Hello, Grandma. Hi, honey. Hi, what are you doing there? Well, I just came by to see if, uh, how your mom was doing. Oh, is Loretta around? I haven't seen her. Oh, just trying to figure out if she was still coming over for dinner. Well, I was just about to call you about that. She isn't going to your house for dinner. What? She's got a heavy date. You're kidding. Nope. You and Sam get to eat the lasagna all by yourself. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to. Okay. Thanks, Grandma. Bye. Your mother isn't coming over. Good man, Howard Young. Mitch. Uh, Hilda said that I would find Rachel here. Oh, what, what's the problem? Well, it was just uh, something that has to do with Matthew, and I needed to talk to her. Well, she and Mac went to the airport. Was she going out of town? No, Mac is. Uh, he got a sudden call about a meeting in New York. Rachel will call you when she comes back, okay? Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll talk to her later. No, we forget.
forget it. We forget about the whole thing. We need the money. But at what price, Nicole? Liz Matthews would have driven Gandhi to violence. Hey, this is a business, not a social club. If we need the money that badly, we'll get married. Ah, oh, well, sweep me off my feet. You know what I mean. Yeah, Cass, I think I do. I wait, think wait, I do. the only reason this is happening is because that woman has been buzzing in your ear all afternoon. Hey, listen, there's something you better realize. The wedding aisle is not the rainbow with a pot of gold at the end of it. I can't believe you said that. Why, because it's the truth? No, because it's so stupid. Oh, well, that's great. Now I know what you really think of me. Hey, Nicole, come back here and fight like a man. Come on. Yeah. I don't think she can hear you. She's running too fast. Hello. Well, looks like more than just a few vibes, doesn't it? Well, what would you say? 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale? Uh, you, you, you know, Nicole, she's emotional. This will all smooth over. Once somebody wires Liz Matthews' jaw shut. Yeah. <laughs> 